under. And Brian's tooling around doing his thing, and Joe's in the back with the vinyl, and uh, you know, I'm sitting around on my ass looking stupid, which is not a stretch. And um, at one point, I, I asked Joe, I said, Can I listen to something? And he, he said, Pick something out. So I, I'm looking and I see some kind of obscure jump swing record, and I, I put it on, and I'm listening, and it's crackling and popping, and Brooks comes in. He's got the Brooks watch. He's all, no, 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 no. <laughs> it must have been bad. So he turns around, and he's like, he gets Brian, and I think it was you, and they hook up this monster stereo, stereo and he gets out this Harry James Orchestra LP that's live from, like, Carnegie Hall or something. And he puts it on, and the music that Brooks hears, I'm hearing. The cymbals are going, or the swell of the horns. And I'm, I'm sitting down next to my longtime friend in this room, hearing this beautiful music that he's sharing with me. And it was a big moment for me in the reconnection of our friendship over the years, and reminded me how much I love Brooks and all the things he shared with me throughout my life. Anyway, God bless you.